Hey, it's Randy Miles. I am with Mansa Musa from MoneySmartLife.org. Mansa, we are starting our home buying timeline segments in earnest today. And today we're going to talk about thinking about buying a home. Right. Last week we introduced the five steps in the home buyer, home ownership timeline. The first one is, I think I want to own a house. Mm -hmm. So this is where everyone begins. This is where you do your research and et cetera, and decide whether home ownership is right for you. Now, one of the things and benefits that people often talk about when they talk about home ownership is equity, right? right. They will develop some equity in the property. Now, equity is defined, or one of the definitions is the difference between what you owe and what you sell your house for. Right. So if you sell your house for $125,000 and you owe $100,000 on that house, your equity position is $25,000. Now, if you don't owe anything on your house, if your house is free and clear, then your equity position is 100%. So if you sell your house for $100,000 and you don't owe anything on the house, then your equity position is the $100,000. Got it. Now, here's the thing about equity. Equity is not straight line growth. You know, it doesn't start the day you buy your house and then it just starts going up in a straight line from there. Equity will go up or the value of your home more accurately will go up over time, but it's not a straight line. Randy, it hasn't been too long ago that a lot of properties in Detroit and Michigan and around the country during the real estate crisis were actually upside down and worth less than the owner owed on it. Yep. And everybody lost value of 50 percent or more, depending upon where you live. So equity doesn't necessarily go straight line, straight up. And right. here's the other thing about equity. It's only on paper until you harvest it, hmm. right? Until you sell your house or refinance it or do something, you can't get the money out of equity. You can't take a brick out of your house and go to the gas station and say, fill it up. <laughs> it doesn't work. So understand that. Finally, thing to think about, people think about their home as an investment. That is absolutely the wrong mindset. Your house is your home. You're not buying it for an investment. You're buying it for a place to live, to develop memories and those things. It wow. may have some investment qualities to it, appreciation and so forth. If you compare stocks and real estate over the past 10, 20, 40 year period, you will see that stocks have gone up an average of 12% per year, while real estate's only gone up 5% a year. Hmm. Now, that's not a true apples to apples comparison, but don't assume that a home ownership is automatically a good investment. Now, that's different than real estate investing. That's a separate topic, but pick your house so it'll be a home, not just because you're looking for an investment. That is sound advice, and I know that there are a lot of people who think just the opposite. We're talking about this series on the website, moneysmartlife.org, also on YouTube and Facebook by the same name. Mansa, I appreciate what you do. Thank you. Appreciate you as well.